It's honestly no surprise that the Walking Dead franchise keeps churning out new and exciting storylines. And let me tell you, Episode 2 of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon is no exception. This spin-off is teasing us with something we've never seen before in this zombified world. So, let's break it down a bit. The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon is just the latest addition to the ever-expanding Walking Dead universe. And guess who's in the spotlight? Our good old fan favorite, Daryl Dixon, of course. But here's the twist. He's now navigating the post-apocalyptic landscape of France. As we're diving into this fresh installment, it's only natural to start asking questions like why certain characters are showing up and what they could mean for the series. Case in point, a new kid on the block named Laurent. Now, normally kids don't have the best track record in this world of zombies, but Laurent? He's got some serious potential. The local nuns are even throwing around the idea that he might be the Messiah. Yeah, you heard that right. And here's where it gets even juicier. Episode 2 hints that Laurent might be the key to something huge. He might be immune to the zombie virus. Now hold the phone. Do these theories actually hold water? Could this kid, Laurent, be the savior we've all been waiting for in this zombie apocalypse? The nuns have their own take as to why Laurent's so special. Oh boy, Laurent is turning out to be quite the extraordinary kid, isn't he? I mean, it's not just about potential immunity. There's a whole bunch more going on with him in The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. Let's dive into it. So, in Episode 1, we get some jaw-dropping revelations about Laurent. First off, Isabelle spills the beans that a Buddhist monk once predicted Laurent's destiny, and it's a biggie. According to this prophecy, Laurent is supposed to be the savior of humanity, here to rescue us from this whole zombie mess. That's some heavy-duty storytelling right there, and the series doesn't take it lightly, trust me. But wait, there's more. Laurent isn't just the chosen one. He's also got some serious crystal ball action going on. In the very first episode, Isabelle shows Daryl a drawing that Laurent made. Guess what? It's a picture of Daryl washing up on the beach. But here's the catch. Laurent sketched that before Daryl even rolled into town. Talk about mind-blowing. And when Daryl starts talking to Laurent, it becomes crystal clear that this kid is no ordinary child. He's got intelligence and wisdom way beyond his years. So yeah, before we even start talking about his immunity, Laurent is proving that he's a cut above the rest. The significance of Laurent's birth flashback. Now Laurent has been quite the showstopper right from episode one, but episode two takes things up a notch by throwing us a real curveball. You see, it hints that Laurent might just be immune to the zombie virus. And how do we get this tantalizing hint? Well, it's all in a flashback to Isabel's life before the world went to hell. So Isabel and her pregnant sister Lily are on the run from zombies in Paris. But here's where it gets wild. Lily gets bitten by a zombie. Fast forward to her giving birth to baby Laurent, and guess what? She's a full-blown walker. This is like a plot twist we've never seen in the franchise before. Now the big question that drops on us like a ton of bricks is, is Laurent immune to the zombie virus? I mean, it's hard not to wonder after witnessing this craziness. Lily got bitten while pregnant, and Laurent was in there with her, right? So, logically, the virus should have been in his system, too. But here's the kicker. He comes out of the womb human, not a walker. It's like the virus is there, but it didn't take control. Mind-boggling, right? This situation is a real head-scratcher and definitely raises some serious biological questions. Being immune makes him the most important character. Laurent's potential immunity is a real bombshell in his character development, but when you think about it, it kinda adds up. From the get-go, they've been painting him as this super important dude, right? I mean, his psychic abilities are already something out of this world, but that alone doesn't explain why he's got Messiah written all over him. Now this immunity thing? It's like the final puzzle piece that clicks everything into place. So here's the deal. If Laurent is indeed immune to the zombie virus, he could be a game changer for humankind. Think about it. Scientists could study him, figure out that immunity secret sauce, and whip up a vaccine. Boom, that's a whole new ball game in the Walking Dead universe. But wait, there's more. In this not-so-friendly world where zombies are lurking around every corner, Laurent's immunity could make him a zombie-killing machine. I mean, think about it. He could get up close and personal with those walkers without a care in the world. Unstoppable warrior vibes, right? So yeah, his immunity? It's not just a twist in the story. 
It's a total game changer. This changes everything. Laurent's immunity in The Walking Dead is like a breath of fresh air for the whole franchise. I mean, in all the seasons and spin-offs, we've never had a character who's immune to the zombie virus. That's a game changer in itself and makes The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, truly stand out. But here's the real kicker. Laurent's immunity shakes up the whole story arc of The Walking Dead. We've been used to watching our favorite characters battling zombies and these crazy government groups, right? But now, this storyline hints that there might actually be a way out of this apocalyptic nightmare. It's not just about surviving day to day, it's about building a new normal. And you know what's exciting? The Walking Dead. Daryl Dixon has already given us some jaw-dropping plot twists in just the first two episodes, so it's a safe bet that the rest of the series will keep us on the edge of our seats. As for Laurent, there's no doubt he's going to stay in the spotlight, and who knows, he might just become a legendary hero in the Walking Dead universe. It's an unexpected twist, but one we're totally here for. Especially if it means kicking that virus to the curb once and for all. Making Laurent immune will have its problems, though. You know, that flashback in The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon Episode 2 sure does set the stage for a potential big reveal about Laurent's zombie immunity. But hey, let's not forget, this idea isn't exactly breaking new ground. Remember The Last of Us? They had a similar plot twist, making it kind of a mainstream concept. And here's another twist. The buzz and speculation around Laurent's immunity were already buzzing before the show even dropped. It's like everyone saw it coming from a mile away. So yeah, it could be seen as a bit predictable. But here's where the spin-off could throw us a curveball. Instead of going down the immunity road, they might pull a sneaky misdirect on us. They drop hints about Laurent being the chosen one, only for it to turn out that he's not special at all. It wouldn't be the first time TV shows played with our expectations, right? Laurent's birth scene was horrifying. When we think about character deaths in The Walking Dead, Laurie's departure was already one of the tear-jerking moments from the original series, right? But now, fast forward to The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, and they take us to an even darker place with Lily's death. Laurie's death was heart-wrenching, no doubt about it, but Lily's situation cranks up the bleakness factor. I mean, Lily dies while giving birth, which is already tragic. But it doesn't stop there. The nuns have to take extreme measures and strap down her revived corpse just to cut the baby out. It's like they cranked up the grimness meter, even by the Walking Dead's standards. The silver lining? Well, Lily's child survives this nightmarish scenario. If anything, that's the one tiny glimmer of hope in this otherwise pretty grim scene. That brings us to the end of today's video. Do you think Laurent is really immune? Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't already, then please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.